Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft admin tutorial series. Basically just bucket tutorials. And if you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. And this week is actually brought to you by the name of Epic Tom. He's the one who suggested this to the Give Any Anything listener. So Tom, who is Epic, this video is for you. Please leave a like. Um, and share it out to your friends and your friends' friends and your friends' pets. Sure, why not? I don't discriminate. Anyway, um, if you have a suggestion for a plugin that I have not done, feel free to first do a quick search on my channel because I've done 70 of these and a lot of the most popular ones I've already done. But there's, I got a quite a backlog, and like Epic Tom, if you suggest it and I do it, I will give you a shout out. So this week, give anything lis listener or GAL or GA listener, whatever you want to call it, is put out by Swifte 3146. And it's fantastic. It's like um, I've already done a Votifier plugin review or a plugin tutorial. Votifier is what listens to websites, and when people vote for your server to go up on a website ranking, then it sends a note to Votifier, which then processes that to whatever uh, plugin will give your users items. So this one is the Give Anything. So uh, I've done Vote for Cash previously, which gave cash, obviously. And this one gives anything you want, which is really cool. And based upon the looks of it, it doesn't actually require a vault. However, you probably would be running vault anyway if you're using any kind of economy because a lot of plugins out there use that to tie into an economy plugin. This one, however, I can't stress this enough, uses Votifier. So you must use Votifier and then you dump this in a plugins folder like you would for any plugin. Here we go. This is the server setup. We're going to go into plugins. Before we get into it, I want to make a quick note about Votifier. This is this is bonus for you guys. So in the config file, if you are setting this up, I'm just taking a step back because this question gets asked constantly on my Votifier uh, tutorial. If you're setting this up at home or on a server host, this is the key. Leave your host uh, as zeros, but if you're setting it up at home, you need to do port forwarding like you did for 25565 for Minecraft. You need to port forward 8192, otherwise Votifier won't hear the votes. Um, and then if you're on a hosting environment, you need to check with them to see what port is available because you are sharing a server with other server hosts or Minecraft hosts. And likely this port is already in use. So you need to check with them to find an open port that you can use for Votifier. And then that covers the last setup that you can do for Minecraft is have a dedicated server. And if that's the case, the port is yours and only you have used it up. So if you don't know that you've already used that port, it's, you know, it's up to you. So anyway, getting into it, we've moved on from Votifier. That's what you need to do to get Votifier to hear anything. If you're running a server at home or on a server host, let's get into setting up the, the GA listener. Now, to be honest, if you can read, you can set this plugin up because the author does a great job of putting comments in here to explain all the settings as well as some of the modifications you can put in here. So really, this tutorial is not that useful. However, if you're like me and you like to learn from videos or visual, then maybe it is. I'm just going to hit a few key things here. Um, like I said, well, maybe I haven't said, but I'm alluding to, it's kind of ready to go right out of the box. There's a few default things that are turned off. This is kind of a cool feature. You can put on Lucky Vote, which gives uh, your users an uh, opportunity to, you know, kind of hit the jackpot when they vote and they get an extra bonus. You can set up permissions voting so only, so you can set your donors to get an extra perk when they vote at the websites. You can also set cumulative, so after 15 votes, uh, your users get an extra bonus, that kind of stuff. That's really cool. Um, so the online only, this is, so it will only run the command when they're online, when they vote. This is also, this plugin also has the slash vote. So if you've asked me for that in the past, this plugin does that. So they do slash vote, it explains it up here, and it'll show them 
the vote message at the bottom. So basically when your users do slash, slash vote, this is what is shown. So you can even modify this and um, have it show the websites they can vote for, that kind of stuff. You can also do vote. Uh, uh, there's also the reward option, which is turned off by default. This is actually going to show your users the um, what bonuses they get by cumulative rewards, that kind of stuff. And then uh, the join message is what's going to show. It's at the bottom here, um, at the bottom, what is going to be shown when new users join the server. And then you can also turn on vote remind. So if you turn this on, it's going to be uh, sent to people who have not voted in the last 24 hours, and then it's going to remind them every five minutes. That's in 300 seconds. That's kind of often and might be annoying, so might want to extend that out. If you want that to be every day after 24 hours, so you want to put this to 24 hours, which is 216,000 seconds. That's how much time's in a day. And then pretty much leave this. This is just to guarantee that there's no du duplicate messages. If you want to take a log of your votes, you can turn this to true. And then you pretty much want to leave this unless you, you really want to use MySQL for some reason. All right, getting into it. Services, by default, if nothing is specified, this is what's going to be shown. You're going to have your color, username, uh, the service that was voted and received, you know, this colors, colors, and then that, and then this is the command that is going to be run. So if you want them to own, to earn money, you're going to run the command of whatever the plugin is that you use for your economy, like down here in the lucky votes. So if you want them to have certain services based upon the specific service, so voting at MC index, instead of getting five diamonds um actually they still get five diamonds but you can set this up per or you can just put a blanket statement pretty pretty much easier like that now the lucky votes is interesting the higher this number is the least likely they are to receive the rewards so this is actually one in 10 and this is one in 50 so it's going to be one and whatever it is that you set here. So one in a hundred is less likely than one in fifty, and then one in ten. And then you, you know this is the message, so you can modify all this. Let's quickly scroll down. I'll show you this section. This is the um, the variables you can use. You can put the service name. These are all the other aliases of that. Or you got username, player name, current votes, and then. Um, you got all your color codes here, which, and then you got your strike through underlines. So that's all the stuff that you can use in these messages. Now, if you want to turn on permission voting, um, the permission node is going to be GAL dot whatever it is that you name it. So this one was named double. And so your donors would then receive double the reward, which is kind of cool. You can give that option to them. So if you wanted to say this triple, then the permission no would be GAL dot triple. So then the cumulative is um, after 10 votes. So this is the number of votes required to receive the reward. This is the command that is run at that. And then the player message and reward message and then broadcasted to everybody else. Pretty straightforward. Like I said, I'm just kind of quickly going over this. You can also set the worlds that it would be blocked in if you only want them to get rewards in the select world. So if you have a creative world, you don't really want them to get the items in the creative world because it will do them no good. It'll actually remain in the queue and wait for them to rejoin the proper world and then it will give them the items so here's all the messages you can modify the vote message remind message join message like i said you can turn that on up above and then you know you got some more variables in here um position all that stuff like i said it's really straightforward and easy you just got to kind of look through it and then just modify it to what you want it to be and then like i said if you're having trouble with your server being connected to from a website, be sure to check out your port forwarding port 8192 or that the port is available on the hosting company that you're using. So that's all I got. Hopefully that was good enough for you, Epic Tom, and the rest of you, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Kaz from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Seriously, 
Yeah. You don't know. For one of us? You don't even know. I hate fishing. Like, I just, I don't like fishing. Really? Even when you're catching, like, mass amounts of fish? I don't do it. 